Hello YouTube, welcome back to another 7.4 video. So this one is 7.4.3 and it's my final path for exploration. So going to this path with the main team of attackers being Hercules, Nick Fury and Dr. Doom. In terms of the notes on the path itself, you have Meltdown, which is every 30 seconds is a timer that switches unless someone lands a special attack. If you don't throw it in that time, you get the damage. Redlining, so once you hit a bar of power, you gain combat quicker come about power rate quicker but if you don't throw it within a certain time then you, uh, you lose all your power there's the steady perseverance node and there's also the uh, unblockable specials so as you can see the my taskmaster special one was all completely unblockable i now have the higher combat power rate so i threw the special the the no combos is all weird in itself um, I brought in Hercules with the intention to try and get as much done with it as I could, bring in the Black Panther synergy, so that I could throw a special one if I needed, and it would be unblockable, so I shouldn't have to worry. Now, for the most part, that's fine. It's only if you don't manage to get up to a bar of power because you're constantly trying to bait specials from a really passive AI, or you just completely mess it up, so I think it's somewhere around here. I took too long. I thought there was a timer that appears, but there wasn't. Might be a little bit of fire actually thinking about it. But yeah, by the time I get through this path, uh, two of the main attackers are dead. Uh, but still, I've got through the path, zero items used, a couple of KOs, but I don't, don't really mind that. White Magneto is just here for the pre fight. So the pre fights are going to be placed <coughs> on Mole Man and then Craven. Don't put one on Ebony more in the end, I just don't feel like there's any point. And basically that's this path, so you can see here I'll carry on talking. We're just trying to get this Taskmaster down to somewhere around here. There's somewhere where I just forget to use a special. No, it's not there. I know on Archangel, which is the next fight, I um, somehow just seem to forget how to dex a special one when I've been texting it since the old Alliance War map where people used to put him as the special one mini boss. So I'm not quite sure what was happening there. But again, people have these days and these moments. If I, uh, as you've seen from my war videos and stuff and any of the paths that I've done, if I, uh, if I die, I die. It's not like I'm going to restart it and uh, be like shy about it. So there I just dash back too early. It gave me an extra feat so I don't really mind. And just remembering that this stun immune after they throw a special that's quite a big thing. But well, it's the first time that I've actually used the Black Panther synergy with Hercules because I normally just do these special intercepts. I think is it around here. So I take that meltdown, get the meltdown bit here, I get the extra power, and then yeah, I was gonna throw the special attack there and I lost all my power. Wondered what was going off. And then didn't even put my block up thinking that I'd throw my special too. And yeah, so that was that was fun. At that point, I was like, oh, okay, I actually need to pay attention. I said, I assumed there was going to be a timer or something that appeared, but it never did. And now it's just about trying to get as much damage. If I can force them to have the meltdown charges and take the damage, then I'll do that. But with the health pools that they have, the, uh, the damage never seems to be uh, hardly anywhere as much as what you take. And as soon as I get the special two where I can, I'm instantly just going to throw it. If I can push Archangel to special 2, then there's a lot less stuff to worry about. Special 2 is a lot easier to uh, dodge. As you can see, it wasn't, wasn't even close, so I don't think I even triggered dexterity from that. And now I'm just kind of sat here waiting. And then I go to throw the special and manage to get it this time. The, the champions that have like, their were special attack time seems to be fine it's more the ones that just seem to uh, have a really long special attack it seems to be a nightmare so as you can see the archangel has gone down hercules is uh, still going strong so we're going to move on to the next fight on this path which is the mole man and yeah we're going to go to this fight obviously like i said put the white magneto pre-fight on this is just so i can guarantee a parry um, and then, then don't need to worry about him shrugging it off ever or any like, issues like that. I can just go into the fight, parry freely and not be worried. 
you're going to see that just here. So I parry and then throw the heavy attack just to get the uh, early feat of uh, strength done. And Mole Man, because of how long his special ones are, so I think I throw the special one here to get a little meltdown. But by the time that this fight is done, Hercules is not like that. So what you're going to see here is me really badly managing the meltdown. You're going to see how badly I mess you up. So by the time he's finished throwing the special two, I can start hitting them again. As you can see, my time has gone to a third. He's been really passive now, and then by the time I could throw the special, I didn't manage to get there in time, and I lost like 30% of my time. So that's something you've got to watch out for where you can. It's just that you've got the chance for that to happen again. It happens pretty soon after again. It's here, I think I mess up. No, I'll do this time. It's a bit later on, but anyway, by the time this fight with more men's done, I think it is dead. As the saying goes, if in doubt, just doom it out. I'm going to throw Dr. Doom in and just get this done pretty quick. There's nothing really too major again. I've still got the White Magneto pre-fight. It's not like that disappears like Mr. Fantastic's ones do. And I can just easily just nuke this guy down. Throw my special ones, throw my special twos, whatever I need. Plus, because of the extra combat power rate and the fact that I have the aura, the special twos is going to come really, really quick. see here just me absolutely just trying to cake walk this mole man again he's about to hit frenzy just because of the 20 charges so there we go he hits frenzy so I just don't make sure I don't want to hit him now into his block especially and his specials were unblockable anyway so it didn't really make a big difference next fight we've got red hawk so part of the reason why I brought in Nick Fury basic Nick Fury fight just watch out for make sure you keep throwing your special ones if you can Make sure you dodge Red Hulk's special one because he's going to move on to, and you're going to want to bait that one out the most. And apart from that, it should be a relatively easy fight and easy life as long as you keep watching your meltdown charges and just dodge the specials.
So you can see here I said easy fight, I've lost like 30% but good deal and the fight's done. So next we're going to go into the Craven, which is the second to last fight on this path. And we, when we get there, it's okay, I ran out of energy so I had to wait a little bit later. So we come back now to this Craven. I can do him and more at the same time. Finish this path off on this bit of energy and then uh, get this video out for you. So realistically, Doom probably would have been the better option um, and quicker. You see, I, I go to pick Doom and then I'm like, mm, no, well, it's just using Nick Fury. So again, relatively easy, just control like, the meltdown charges. With the white mags, you don't need to worry about his endurance kicking in. You'll see the endurance the buff that he gets on himself come into play as soon as I start throwing special ones. As you'll see, it, the disorientate affects that. So I think it's there, yeah. So that's the first one, so now every disorientate after this is going to last a little bit of time. Um, I missed the decks on the first special two that he throws, but I know that I normally 99% of the time get it down. So I'm pretty confident I'll just keep pushing the special two. So he does throw a special one at one point in the fight, so he does lay a trap. But I just make sure that I stay well away from that trap so I don't get rooted at any point. And yeah, this fight will just go down like that pretty much. And Nick Fury, yeah, it's still a still come in clutch for me where I need him to be fair. At this point, I just choose to throw Nick Fury at Ebony Moore and see what I can get out of him. Um, I still haven't hit my decoy yet. That's fine. I know that when I'm throwing my special ones, it's going to give me my tactical charges. So there's going to be a point where Ebony Moore is going to try and falter me, but I'm just not going to be able to miss. So that doesn't seem like a big issue to me. That's fine. I think the first couple of times, I think, if I remember rightly, is that chance. And here, obviously, you know, Ebony Moore gets a crazy degen because he can because he's been nerfed in defense about four times um, and it puts me into my second life pretty much straight away but you can see that the, the numbers are pretty nice all I need to do now is hit one of these special ones I could do here and that gives me nine tactical charges so now I can't miss and if it wasn't for the meltdown nodes I'd, I'd never be uh, throwing much more specials after this because one more special one that I'll get in a second will put me unblockable, or it should do, but I lost my Fury. And then the Meltdown kicked in or something and I lost even more health. It was all just weird, I just seemed to drop like 15-20% health for no reason. And now we're just getting to the point where I am now, and as you can see there, again, had my unblockable and whatever else, but then I lost my buff. I'm assuming it's from having more special one, just nullifying it. And 
can see there, you can see that. But we're gonna go and just carry on trying to plow through this fight and just see exactly how long we can survive against this M anymore. I don't need to worry, I said about the falter. And this is the final fight, so I still got pretty much a full health Doctor Doom left. Um, and I can't see me struggling with the last 10% of an M anymore. So I'll just show you the last bit anyway, just because I can. We're gonna go into this fight with Doctor Doom. And we're just gonna pretty much kick walk it all the way to the end now. So if you did enjoy the content, please leave a like, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more, please subscribe.